Hello everyone and a warm welcome. In this video presentation, I'll explore essential multiple choice questions MCQs with a brief explanation from Unit 5 of the JKSSB Female Supervisor Exam, specifically focusing on food science and processing, Part 1. Dear viewers, I also encourage you to study the detailed theory behind these MCQs through internet searches because there is always a possibility of errors in answers. For MCQs on other topics, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's attempt to solve some important MCQs one by one with brief explanation, focusing on the topic food science and processing. Question 1. What is the primary purpose of blanching vegetables during food processing? A. Enhancing flavor. B. Inactivating enzymes. C. Adding color. D. Increasing vitamin content. The correct answer to question 1 is option B. Inactivating enzymes. Explanation Blanching helps inactivate enzymes in vegetables, preventing deterioration of color, flavor, and nutritional quality during storage. Question 2 What is the main function of food preservatives? A. Enhancing taste. B. Adding color. C. Extending shelf life. D. Increasing nutrient content. The correct answer to question 2 is option C. Extending shelf life. Explanation Food preservatives help prevent spoilage and extend the shelf life of food products by inhibiting the growth of microorganisms. Question 3 Which method of food preservation involves the removal of water to prevent bacterial growth? A. Canning. B. Freezing. C. Dehydration. D. Fermentation. The correct answer to question 3 is option C. Dehydration. Explanation Dehydration involves removing water from food, inhibiting the growth of bacteria, and preventing spoilage. Question 4 What is the purpose of pasteurization in the dairy industry? A. Increasing fat content. B. Killing harmful bacteria. C. Enhancing flavor. D. Adding vitamins. The correct answer to question 4 is option B. Killing harmful bacteria. Explanation Pasteurization involves heating milk to kill harmful bacteria, improving its safety and shelf life. Question 5 Which gas is commonly used in food packaging to slow down the oxidation process? A. Oxygen. B. Nitrogen. C. Carbon dioxide. D. Hydrogen. The correct answer to question 5 is option B. Nitrogen. Explanation Nitrogen is often used in food packaging to displace oxygen and slow down the oxidation of fats and other components. Question 6 What role do emulsifiers play in food processing? A. Adding sweetness. B. Binding water and oil. C. Increasing fiber content. D. Enhancing color. The correct answer to question 6 is option B. Binding water and oil. Explanation Emulsifiers help create stable mixtures of water and oil in food products, preventing separation and improving texture. Question 7 Which of the following is a method of food preservation that involves the use of salt? A. Pickling. B. Freezing. C. Canning. D. Fermentation. The correct answer to question 7 is option A. Pickling. Explanation Pickling involves preserving food in a solution of salt, vinegar, and other seasonings to inhibit the growth of bacteria. Question 8 What is the purpose of adding antioxidants to certain food products? A. Enhancing flavor. B. Extending shelf life. C. Improving texture. D. Adding vitamins. The correct answer to question 8 is option B. Extending shelf life. Explanation Antioxidants are added to food products to prevent the oxidation of fats and oils, thereby extending their shelf life. Question 9 What is the primary purpose of the HACST system in food processing? A. Enhancing taste. B. Ensuring food safety. 
C. Adding color. D. Increasing nutrient content. The correct answer to question 9 is option B. Ensuring food safety. Explanation The hazard analysis and critical control points, HACSP, system is a preventive approach to ensure food safety by identifying and controlling potential hazards. Question 10 Which of the following is a method of food processing that involves the use of microorganisms to produce desirable changes? A. Freezing. B. Canning. C. Fermentation. D. Dehydration. The correct answer to question 10 is option C. Fermentation. Explanation Fermentation is a process in which microorganisms, such as bacteria and yeast, are used to produce desirable changes in food, such as the production of yogurt or sauerkraut. Question 11 What is the purpose of adding leavening agents, such as baking powder, in baking? A. Enhancing color. B. Increasing shelf life. C. Providing structure and rising. D. Adding sweetness. The correct answer to question 11 is option C. Providing structure and rising. Explanation Leavening agents release gases during baking, causing the dough or batter to rise and providing the desired structure to baked goods. Question 12 Which method of food preservation involves the use of high temperatures to destroy microorganisms and enzymes? A. Freezing. B. Canning. C. Dehydration. D. Pickling. The correct answer to question 12 is option B. Canning. Explanation Canning involves heating food to high temperatures to kill microorganisms and enzymes, preventing spoilage. Question 13 What is the purpose of adding stabilizers in processed foods? A. Enhancing flavor. B. Improving texture and consistency. C. Extending shelf life. D. Increasing vitamin content. The correct answer to question 13 is option B. Improving texture and consistency. Explanation Stabilizers help maintain the texture and consistency of processed foods by preventing separation or crystallization. Question 14 which of the following food preservation methods involves the use of low temperatures to inhibit microbial growth? A. Canning B. Fermentation C. Freezing D. Dehydration The correct answer to question 14 is option C. Freezing Explanation Freezing inhibits microbial growth by reducing the temperature, preserving the quality of the food. Question 15. What is the primary purpose of aseptic processing in the food industry? A. Enhancing flavor. B. Reducing microbial contamination. C. Adding color. D. Increasing nutrient content. The correct answer to question 15 is option B. Reducing microbial contamination. Explanation. Aseptic processing involves sterilizing food and packaging separately and then combining them under sterile conditions to reduce microbial contamination. Question 16. In which stage of food processing does extrusion cooking play a significant role? A. Primary processing. B. Secondary processing. C. Tertiary processing. D. Quaternary processing. The correct answer to question 16 is option B. Secondary processing. Explanation Extrusion cooking is commonly used in secondary processing to produce a variety of food products, such as snacks and breakfast cereals. Question 17 What is the primary purpose of food fortification? A. Improving taste. B. Extending shelf life. C. Enhancing nutritional content. D. Adding color. The correct answer to question 17 is option C. Enhancing nutritional content. Explanation Food fortification involves adding vitamins, minerals, or other nutrients to foods to improve their nutritional content. Question 18 Which of the following factors is crucial in determining the safety of home canned foods? A. Temperature. B. Texture. C. Color. D. Aroma. 
The correct answer to question 18 is option A. Temperature Explanation Ensuring proper processing temperatures during home canning is critical for the safety of the canned foods. Question 19. What is the primary function of emulsifiers in food products? A. Enhancing color B. Increasing sweetness C. Binding water and fat D. Adding vitamins The correct answer to question 19 is option C. Binding water and fat Explanation Emulsifiers help create stable emulsions by binding water and fat together preventing separation in various food products. Question 20. What is the purpose of a food dehydrator in food processing? A. Freezing food B. Removing water from foods C. Canning food D. Fermenting food The correct answer to question 20 is option B. Removing water from foods Explanation A food dehydrator removes water from foods preserving them by inhibiting the growth of spoilage microorganisms. Thank you everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shoki Bilal.